Hello out there in YouTube land, welcome to the OK Good Review channel. Starting to wind down, winding down 2022, but we're also winding down models. And this is one of the last two kits I have remaining. This one is the dreaded AMT. Is an international off-road scout two. Now, when I was growing up, the International Scout Two was one of my most sought after vehicles. That, that was a, a vehicle I really, really, really wanted to own. I love the grill. I love the look of these things. I mean, they probably got horrible gas mileage, you know, and now my priorities have obviously changed over time, but I, I, I didn't want the off-road, this goofy simulated Jeep nonsense. That's not what I wanted. What I really wanted was one with the camper, like the K5 Blazers. If you don't know what a K5 Blazer is, go watch the first season of Stranger Things. Sheriff Hopper has a K5 Blazer. Scout and the Scout 2s were basically those. Ram Charger was one. Uh, Plymouth had one I think called a Trail Vester. And I would have been... I, I probably would have lived with the, with the Plymouth. But I really wanted the International Scout 2. That was one that I always kind of had in the back of my head that I'd like to have. So. I, and I, you know, International has not made vehicles for a really long time. I think they're case age now, but they've only made farm equipment for years and years and years and years. So they stopped making commercial vehicles a long time ago. And I was surprised to see this. And then I was disheartened to see it because of this. But this is a round two. So this is a fairly new uh, model to the thing. We've got a brush guard, we've got off road lights. We've got uh, fender flares, we've got drive, this all looks cheesy. This photography is terrible, by the way. And look here, I mean, this is, this just looks bad. It doesn't look like it's high res at all. It looks actually grainy. And uh, you know, maybe it's like a throwback to the 80s, 70s and 80s, and I don't remember these being made after the 80s, so probably 70s and 80s. And they must have wanted the photography as a time as well, I guess, for any of this. Uh, okay, let's, we're going to take a look at this in a second, but first... Okay, we're going to disregard that. Okay, so, um, let's talk about what I'm doing with this model. This one, I decided to cr try to create a Hot Wheels. And this Hot Wheels, you can see here, is some sort of... I think it's a... A very spin on a, a power wagon, possibly. Let's see, what does it say? Oh, D100. So, this would have been a consistent truck at the time of this, actually. I couldn't find a Dodge that looked like this, but honestly, Dodge trucks in the 80s were not particularly good trucks. And this one, like I said, the, the IH had some mystique over me. Uh, we, I don't think we have the flared fenders like we do on this one. So, this one's almost kind of like a step side. I don't think we have that on there. But when I got this, I, I'm not a big fan of beige, but I love this color scheme, this sort of Baja thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, we're going to do this. We're going to basically make this from 164th to 124th, more or less. And uh, I'm going to try to keep, so the rims, I'm going to try to keep this coloration the same. Obviously, I'm going to have lights on the light bar. If I, if I can put the Baja lights up here on this, I will. Uh, we've also got this roll bar here, so I'll try to do that. I mean, I'll try to simulate this as much as I can. I don't know how possible it's going to be to get to some of this stuff. But uh, this is the idea anyway. So we've got a, a dark interior. Uh, we've got these sort of gray wheels. And then we've got this, which is the striping. This striping is going to be difficult to do. I will just say that up front. And I'm going to modify it a little bit to try and make it easier. But you can see they... They didn't keep it consistent here. They actually flared it out a little bit. I'm not going to be doing that. We're going to, it's going to be tape lines, of course. And, it, and it's just not on this side. And I, I really hope that the tape actually cooperates as uh, sometimes it doesn't. But 
you know, I the, these are consecutively darker colors, so I think we'll probably be okay. Uh, even if I get a little bit of bleed over for some of the colors onto the lighter colors, I should be able to fix it. I am going to delete this Mopar, this Dodge, this Hot Wheels, and I don't like these stripes on the doors, these upper ones, so I'm deleting that too. So those are going to go, it's just going to be these stripes on the side, the stripes on the hood, which I'm going to modify also to take the Mopar out. We do have a brush guard on this one. It doesn't have lights. I don't know. I probably am not going to keep lights on this one either. Uh, and then, of course, the tailgates. So I might have to modify the back of this to actually make this happen because I don't know if there's a tailgate on this or not. Anyway, though, that's essentially what we're doing is that, that truck right there. So uh, let's take a look at here what we have. And we've got those hubcaps are no good. Those are good. I'm not going to use those. Uh, we got the grill here, we got, looks like a air filter cover, uh, bumpers, looks like the same bumper for front and back. Okay, we've got tail lights, that's good to have. Alright, we've got, oh, what do we got here? So we do have some striping, oh, what? Look at this. Okay, guys, I want doors. They're not doors? I want doors. Okay, hold on. We gotta see. I want. I actually want doors. Ah, uh, really? Is there no doors here? Oh, what? No, come on, really? Oh, that is. Oh, no, really? Man, oh, that's poop. I wanted. I would have thought they would have had an option for doors. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, apparently, I'm not gonna get doors. Ooh, that might actually change how I have to design these stripes, too. So you're taking a look at it here. Oh, yeah, man. Well, actually, so I can still run them from the door and run them up and then across. I could, I could still do that. Uh, no, I could still, I could still. Why is that light? That light is right in the way for that design right here. I don't think you're going to get lights. Stink. Whoa, 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 so we're <laughs> and it has a box on it, so i got to cut the box out. Okay, well, that was fast, huh? I already went off the rails with what I had in mind. Okay, so we are going to use these, this, this uh, rim system here. And we've got bucket seats, it looks like. We've got... The headers there. Here's the roll cage. Can be using that. Uh, okay, so I can, I can. So we don't, we don't have these, these things here. But I feel like I can create these because these are just bars. So I think probably what I'll do is I'll actually just trim some of these out or something and use those if I can find an unimpeded uh, direction. I do have lots of spare parts though too, so I might just use that. Man, oh, that is really frustrating. Super frustrating. Actually, I actually could use these. These might work. I'll have to sand them down, I think. You could probably do that, but... Mmm. Uh, mmm. Mmm. The hood in one piece is nice, though, because that one, I don't have to actually put it on there. The, uh, the spawn two truck you saw that one, I actually had to like pre-assemble almost the entire thing before I start painting it. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 what is this? Oh, this is a hard ridge here. Man, I wish there was doors on this. That didn't occur to me, you guys. Um, and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this box. I am thinking about cutting it out because I actually could cut it out. I guess we'll see. We'll see when we get to the build. All right. So, uh, and then I haven't looked at the graphics. If, is there stripes I can use on this even? I don't know. Let's take a look. I could actually, re well, I can't. I don't have enough door space. I, I, so I was going to say, I could replace the Mopar stuff with IH stuff, but, oh, this is cheeseball garbage here. Oh, look at this. I guess if you don't want to paint the running lights, you could just use these terrible water slides. Uh, I'm throwing this away. This is garbage. I'm not using that. And I don't like water slides particularly to begin with. I really don't like AMTs. Alright, so we got this. 
alcohol, which I am going to use to wipe it down. Because I do, I, I hopefully I've learned my lesson that their plastic is awful for painting unless you prep it. Uh, this is a, what is this? Smoke gray pearlescent. So that is uh, actually, this is black here. So that's what I'm going to use, I think, inside the box and on the undercarriage just to try to give it a little bit of color. Uh, it, I don't know, this is, I haven't used this color for probably a couple of years, so I don't know if this is any good. We'll find out. If not, I'm just going to bin it. This is the last. Oh no, actually second to last of the non tamiya colors that I have. Uh, another one that I do have you'll be seeing in the video coming up after this one. And that one is on a special build as well. So the only thing I have left really is special builds. Although the next one is not quite as complex as this one. I guess this one really isn't that complex either. Uh, I've already done most of the complex ones. This one's just another tape job. Uh, so we have light sand here. I think I do have this color in uh, hand paint as well. I need to double check that. But this of course is going to be the base color for everything. Uh, exterior and then hopefully we'll be able to just kind of put it together from there and uh, see what's what. But ah man, I'm really... I, I am so tempted because I probably do have enough panels that I could actually make doors. I'm really tempted to just get doors and putty and create door handles and just do it that way. I'm, I'm giving that some serious thought. Um, I may be doing that actually. Cause I actually, you know, I, I'm, I'm frustrated by this. I, and I should have known, I should have known better why I say AMT on it. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's look at the engine. We've got a, a four cylinder, 196. Nope, 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 nope. We've got a V8 304. Probably not. And we got a V8 345. That, that's the one we're going to make, the V8 345. Uh, of course, the analogy is GM's 350, uh, GM's 305, possibly the, the Ford 5 liter 302. Uh, and the 196, like, I don't know why you'd ever put a four cylinder. Like, what is the point of putting a four cylinder in a truck this big? horribly underpowered but okay well um, I guess uh, we'll see how close we can get to making this into this and we'll be back with the hand painting section and we'll go through the hand paints the clearly we have orange here we have brown and we have black so not too bad not too bad um, the engine color, actually I should probably figure out what color the engine is. Okay, the engine color is red. So we're going to go with red. Did they leave white headers on this? Oh my god, look at this. It's like they left white headers on this. Oh, that's silly. What? <laughs> Me and my white plastic headers on my International <laughs> Scout SS2 vehicle. We're rolling down the road one day. When it melted into a puddle underneath the truck. Strangest thing. Yeah, good times. All right, anyway, uh, we'll see you over at the hand painting station, I guess. All right, we are just about ready to kick off the painting here. And so you can see there is the shell. So I didn't put the striping on at first. And in fact, I'm still trying to decide how I'm going to actually do that. Probably what I'm going to need to do is to... I might just have to block it out and then hand paint it because there's just not enough real estate. There's not enough adhesive on the tape. And I have to go with this. And you can see this is very, very thin. So uh, I don't have the hood here. That is completely outgassing. Same thing with the cab. The, uh, the actual interior of the cab, I used a, uh, an, an, an enamel on rather than just a the fast dry acrylics like the Tamiya's so still waiting for that to get done but uh, there's not a lot of parts to this this is a fairly there, there's just not a whole bunch on the screws here so I'm kind of excited about that where I'm not gonna have a whole ton of parts realistically though the hardest part is going to be putting the stripes on those and um, 
I'm still thinking through that process. <laughs> I mean, it looks cool in beige or light sand or whatever this color is. But if I'm going to try to get to that truck, this truck that we see all the way over here, um, it's going to take a little bit of doing. I don't have a roof on it either. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, so here are the hand paints, and we're got we've got the Model Master Amber. So that's if I decide to paint running lights on it, which is at this point a maybe. Uh, the red, the red for the tail lights is is already red, so I uh, won't be using any red tail light paint. That red there is the engine color to make it red. So. It'll be have a red engine, and that probably will be the last red engine I actually do, because the next build after this I use a different color for the engine. Uh, of course, we have so those two are from Model Masters, which is, to my understanding, a line that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, we've got the Testers Steel and Testers Metallic Silver here, as usual for some of the undercarriage and component parts. We have the Tamiya X1 Black and Tamiya XF63, which is German Gray. So that will do the accents that go on uh, the wheels and possibly some of the other parts as well. I'm still, still kind of hemming and hawing over that. Let's get this in the shop. All right, let's get... Hopefully I can get them all to fit here. All right, so the other one is the X10 the um, gunmetal for the dash. This is the last gunmetal dash I'll also be doing actually. So the build coming up after this has just a, a completely different color scheme. So one last, one last good time. It should look pretty cool I think. So but uh, all right so anyway we got to get uh, painting the uh, start working on the engine now. Grab some of these other parts and uh, from here the next part will be the assembly, so that'll be coming up next. All right, okay, all right, okay, all right, here we got it. All wrapped up and uh, we came out with a sort of a, it's almost a safari vehicle, like an African safari type truck here, a Range Rover almost. But I like the, um, the color scheme of this. And I decided not to try to build doors just because of the way that it uh, is with the uh, body and so on. So ultimately I think this is probably a truck that is uh, as close as I'm gonna get, probably the model build 
I think it's probably gonna be as close as I'm gonna get to be having an actual perfect model build. And there's still a couple of things in here that, a couple of real, real minor flaws, but for the most part, there's not, I mean, they're just almost insignificant. So uh, this is a goofy kit. This is the windshield. I had to cut this to size and I, it, it's not exact. It's not exact size. I had to throw out the striping because I didn't have the technological resources to actually accomplish it, unfortunately. To, to do that would have required me to go get a bunch more uh, tape, for one thing. And it's, I, I'm trying not to go back to the hobby store and spend money. I'm just trying to use what I have. So I kind of threw that part out of it the striping just because there's not a way this is not a good fast simile I, I mean the we do have a little bit of a flaring out here on the back end like we do on the hot wheel um, I decided not to cut the box out and attempt to do any of this so I kind of like this as it was this is there's a lot of stuff is molded in the radiator for instance is molded in and it's really dumb how this is how that was done. Uh, we do it with just a gunmetal dashboard here, uh, two tone gray for the interior, and we got the shifters there, steering wheel. Uh, we got the bars here, gas cap there, the mirror. The mirror actually I added. I had to find a different mirror because the one that came with the kit was junk. Side mirrors are also garbage, but I just kind of went with those in here. Ooh! Back end is fine. I was going to put some different accents on it, but decided not to. The front is, uh, if I had to paint the, the grill that same beige, we would have had a really similar front to this. This, uh, they have the one where you can roll the wheels here. And you can see it's really subtle, but the actual gray inset on the See it there? The ray inset on the rims is there. It actually is a really cool effect. I'm uh, really pleased with how these tires came out. The stance of this is good. Underneath we've got, see I mean everything is pretty much dead on perfect here. Nice red engine. We got four wheel drive hooked up. And this looks a little kitty wampus here, but the way that these are molded, there's not a way of I mean, it, it's really set where everything has to go, so there's not a lot of variation possible. If it's if it's mismolded, then you're just gonna have to live with it pretty much. I like the clean look of this, and then you can see. So it did look like I I thought okay off road. I'm gonna put in some. Mud splashes, you can kind of see them there by the battery on the firewall. Extremely plain firewall though, there's no anything here. This hose does not hook up to anything. So I think this is almost like it's, it's, it's supposed to be a radiator hose, I'm assuming, but you can see the radiator isn't there. It's only behind the, the grill. <laughs> so it's a little, a little goofy, a little goofy, but it rolls. The plastic, I, I didn't actually prep this one, so this is a slightly different color on the hood than the rest of this thing is. And it's meant, so you can see, it's a, just a, it's, it just has a different hue to it, just a little bit different tone. And uh, there's no hinges to this. I, I was going to paint the windshield wipers and then I decided not to bother with that either. So I was, I want, I, my idea was to have this actually driving it, but it's the scale isn't quite right. So, but it, it'll ride in the back like this. And this is probably how I'm going to display it. Oh, I think this is probably going to go, probably be a, a display for our star in his, uh, in his room. Let's see, we've got the exhaust pipes coming out the side. And, it's uh maybe I'll put animals in it. I don't know, like a safari 
vehicle with with actual animals but i think it came out pretty well uh the amt kit is really a disadvantage i for whatever reason cannot seem to remember that but it uh it is i think it's pretty i think it's uh i like it i i, I don't love it i like the idea with this and i and i wish i would have had Something so this one I, I think to get that effect I needed a roof and I feel like I also needed doors and Without those things it, it just Really really difficult to get this across also where these door lines are molded Trying to pull that across that would have been Really really difficult just air the way that everything is molded here it it, it is uh Definitely gonna would require a lot more tape than I actually have so And these seats are just goofy. I mean there there's a there's a lot of weird stuff with this kit I think the kit is okay. It's probably one of the better AMT ones Which to me really isn't saying anything, but I managed to get an international scout finally, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that and, and it came out like I said it came out really really nicely, so no complaints here, but anyway, there it is. The next model build will be the last model build, and we'll talk about that a little bit in that video as well. But for now, this is going to do it for the... They didn't put a year on this. I couldn't find what year this is supposed to be. It's not in the instructions either. So odd. But uh, the AMT International Off-Road Scout SS2 that was using this 164 scale Hot Wheels D100 Baja truck for inspiration. I really wish I could have got that the hood, the hood with the scoop on there. That I wish I could have done. Again, it's just another thing that kind of got in the way of me being able to fully realize it. But... Anyway, if you did dig it, please give us the old thumbs up, hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already. If there is a blue notification bell comments available and you care to use that, please feel free to do so. Whether or not, please come follow us on our Twitter feed. We're updates to the channel I made by myself and there's Twitter exclusive content such as display shots. Only available on Twitter. If you use Twitter, come follow us there. We would love to have you, but here it is one last time. The AMT International Off-Road Scout SS2. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.